Hi, my name is Kari Hawker Sadoff, and I am an artist and high school art teacher. And I have a show at the Duluth Art Institute, but because of COVID-19, it has been postponed and it's online. And I'm here to show you my studio and my working space, which is right back there. My husband and I built that about seven years ago. Um, we designed it together and he did most of the construction, but let me take you out there. All right, so this is my commute out to my studio, and I primarily work here on the weekends and in the summer months. It's a great space, it's away from the house. I kind of feel like when you're working, it's nice to get away from the house and from the kids, and I have two kids, and one of them happens to be hanging out in the sky chair right now. <laughs> and it's a great space to work in. It took us a long time to get here, but we love it. On the left-hand side of the studio is my husband's space, and he is also a jewelry designer and kinetic sculptor and an educator as well. But let me, this is our shared space, but he mostly uses it. As we walk into my space, you'll see up on the wall here is a mural that I did with my husband. We like to do things together and individually as well. So we're gonna walk into my space and it has really tall ceilings. And one of the first things you'll notice is my chandelier. And it was the first thing that we installed into the studio space. Um, this is primarily my drawing painting side. And then over here is my ceramic studio. Um, but let's start over here with the drawing side of my studio. Here on the wall um, are images that I did for a gallery down in Ohio. It is part of Dante's Inferno. There were 10 artists that were selected to do a chapter or cantos, and these are my um, three cantos that I did and I really thoroughly enjoyed working on those. I'm really inspired by a story and a narrative and that really helps me to guide my thinking and inspires me to create. And then I also did a side note of another piece off based off the cantos. These two smaller pieces on the wall were really fun for me to do very inspired by surrealist artists and uh, I really explore dreamlike qualities and images that I see when I dream. This other piece on the wall that's next to it was an assignment I created for my students to do over distance learning using a um, grocery bag and using the elements and principles of design to illustrate it with certain instructions and that was really fun to do for me and the students results were pretty incredible. But if we look around my studio too, I have a potpourri of stuff and I'm a collector. You never know when you can use it. And so, but right over here, let me show you what I'm working on right now. I am slip casting some frames and then I'm doing miniature illustrations on them. So here are some of the slip casting pieces I've been working on to go along with my show since we have time. And you can see like here is the yarn representing Penelope and her weaving that every night she un pulled out her weaving because she said that when she finished her uh, piece that she would marry somebody. And then every night she pulled it out. And then unfortunately, uh, when other women betrayed her and said, hey, she's pulling it out every night. And here's the um, arrow representing that final moment when Odysseus pulled the arrow and strung at the bow and started defeating the um, suitors and the arrow went through the axes, pretty crazy moment. So I'm kind of working on miniature illustrations, portraitures, elements of the uh, pots and the drawings that I did for that show. Um, that show premiered in Ohio at the Canton, Ohio Museum of Art. So it's really, it's nice that Duluth is giving me this opportunity to show my work and to talk about my work. 
Um, so let's, so this is the space. It's kind of fun to see how other artists work and live. And um, so, yeah, this is my space here, my cozy couch for thinking. And um, up there we have a storage space as well. Um, so let's go into the ceramic studio. So here in the ceramic studio, I have a wheel, I have an extruder and a kiln. Craigslist is pretty magical on finding supplies and um, as well as estate sales. So over here, let me show you these. This is a new series I'm working on and I call them Hello Friends and they're little illustrations. But when you pick up the cup or the bowl on the bottom, it says, Hello Friend. And I think it, right now, especially in this time, we need things to give us a smile. And so I've been working on that series slowly but surely, and also just playing with simple forms as well. So, hi friend. And hi friend is something that I use with my students when I introduce myself or I start the day or I see somebody in the hallway. I'm like, hi friend, how are you? And I do it as a kind gesture. To me, it just seems kind and respectful and friendly. Here's another uh, fun thing I've been working on and off of. Um, one of my favorite artists is Rene Magritte, and he got me super excited about art when I was a young kid. And um, so in one of my assignments at school is creating sculptural teapots inspired by an artist. So I um, made a sample. And so here is my Rene Magritte sample teapot. It's a teapot that it doesn't work. And, um, you know, this is one of his famous images. I borrowed and reinterpreted. You can take off the bowler hat and then this will be connected to the lid. Just really kind of fun. And if I enjoy a project, I know that my students will as well. And there are my funny feet. Kind of illustration of that. And then it's nice to see like my sketchbook and what I was thinking to create this pot. And I really think it's important for everyone to see your work process and sketching and doing drawing is really helpful. Uh, especially when you do monumental projects or any type of projects, just to process it out. So yeah, so this is my Rene Magritte Instant Teapot. So I don't think it's quite done yet. Still have some work to do on it. Um, so this is my space. This is where I work. We'll flip it all around. And um, so it's always great to see spaces that other people um, do and work in. It's a little discombobulated, but yeah. So I want to thank you for coming to my studio and looking at my work, and I appreciate it. Uh, one other thing that I do with, I think about art and creating art is to definitely, besides telling a story, but there's always some underlying current or meaning personally for me. I think the Odysseus and Penelope, the long journey, for me, it was the woman's movement and the struggle of women that needed to be told in a unique way. And this is such a pivotal time for artists to create. And actually every time period in history is an important time for us to create art and to look at art because Art shows change. Art shows the underbelly of what's happening to society and what's going on in the truest forms. So um, that's part of the reason I love art and it's a great way to communicate uh, one's feelings and thoughts. So thanks again, alrighty.